hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you easy steps on how to plot using bearing and distance today we're using we have a survey plan here so we're going to plot this using just bearing and distance exactly as it is now the first thing is to open your notepad now this is our notepad First thing, we have to type in the coordinates. This coordinate we have will give us our origin point. Now we start with the eastern coordinates, 508, comma. Then you type in the northern coordinate, 156, 246.603. Now press enter. Now this coordinate is for this point here, as we can see. Now we have to go in a clockwise direction because that's how survey goes in a clockwise direction. Now we press shift two, that is at symbol. Now we put in the distance 30.40. Now press shift comma, that is less than. To get it less than, you have to press shift comma. Then you put in the cut the bearings 23 degrees, use a D. 23 degrees, use a D and 10 minutes. Enter shift at the next leg, 16.30 less than 112D, 12 minutes. Shift at 203, um, the distance first, 27.40 less than 203D. 40 minutes enter shift art 16.38 less than 281d 38 minutes so ensure your data is correct please so we don't get thrown off 16 okay having ensured that we copy it now you copy it copy now we open our autocad we have to format the autocad to suit survey so you use unit u and enter now under the angle you change from decimal degrees to degree minutes and seconds change your precision to zero degrees zero minutes ensure you tick on clockwise as i stated earlier we're using clockwise now you change your precision to two place decimal now change your unit scale, unit scale to meters. Now change your direction to knots. Okay. Okay. Now the environment is ready to plot this. Now you click online. You go to your command. Now you paste those data you copied from your notepad. Control V. Now. It's plotted somewhere very far, so we'll press enter two times. Enter, enter. Now we can't find it. To find it, we have to zoom extent. How do we do that? Z, spacebar, E, spacebar. Now this is it. Can you see it now? So thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and share for others to learn. Thank you.